And one of the lawmakers Lauren is talking about is Congressman Adam Schiff. He's with us on the phone this morning. Good morning to you. Good morning, Congressman. Good morning to you. All right. What is this? How is this possible? I mean, we sit back here and we say, how did this even happen? Well, it sounds like the Guard was under a lot of pressure to meet enlistment goals and recruiting goals, uh, and at least some of the people at the Guard, and I think at least one has gone to jail, uh, offered incentives they were not authorized to offer. But uh, those who answered the call of duty had no idea that these were fraudulently being offered to them. Uh, they accepted the bonuses. Many were deployed to Iraq and Afghanistan. Uh, many saw combat. Some were injured. Uh, and to go after them now for either mistakes or fraud by uh, people in management of the Guard, I think, is unconscionable. Uh, so uh, we have an opportunity to fix this. Uh, when we go back into session after the election, there's a must-pass defense bill. Uh, and I hope that we get a provision in that bill that forgives this debt. Uh, we ought to be going after those who offer the incentives improperly, but not after the soldiers who answered the call of duty. All right, uh, Congressman Schiff, who's going to vote against that? Well, I don't think anyone is going to vote against it, uh, so I imagine this is one of the few things that uh, we really can get done uh, in this uh, lame duck session coming up. Uh, but frankly, if you were a betting person, you'd always bet against Congress being able to do uh, anything that's uh, called on it. Uh, so I wouldn't uh, count on it, uh, unfortunately, but, uh, but I, I think with the amount of interest that we've seen just in the short period of time since the story came out, uh, we're likely to see action on this. So can the president, for example, do an executive order on this one? I don't know whether this is something that the president on his own can do. I suppose that is possible. Uh, but it may, if it is a legal obligation somehow incurred, even at no fault of these uh, soldiers, uh, it may be something that uh, statutorily we need to fix. Uh, and we have every capability of doing it. I hope we do it in short order. Uh, at a minimum, we should uh, instruct uh, that there be a halt in these efforts to collect against these soldiers uh, until Congress can fix this problem. Well, that would be a start. It's yeah. not just that, though, because this has been going on for so many years. You're also talking about reimbursing many of the soldiers who have been paying back. Absolutely. Well, anyone who has paid anything back uh, on these incentives that they uh, should be able to keep ought to get that refunded to them along with whatever interest they've had to pay. Uh, so the soldiers need to be made whole. That's the bottom line. Uh, but according to the Pentagon, uh, this is a problem that existed uh, beyond California. It was the worst in California. Uh, but that tells me that there was a real management problem here where the pressure was so great to produce new recruits uh, that uh, uh, managers at guard units in other states as well uh, responded by improperly offering incentives they weren't authorized to offer. Uh, one other thing here. Uh, is it strange for me, the analogy that jumped in my head was Wells Fargo, mm. where people, because they wanted to meet quotas or whatever, get their own bonuses, started all these phony accounts. Were the recruiters here in sort of the same situation? You know, I'm glad you make that analogy because that is exactly what left to my mind when I heard about this, too. I, I thought to myself, that sounds just like Wells Fargo. Uh, and uh, I think there are many parallels with the pressure to produce uh, and then people responding c completely uh, um, fraudulently uh, by offering things they couldn't offer. In the case of Wells Fargo, establishing accounts they had no authority to establish. Uh, and in both cases, the innocent party, the customers of Wells Fargo, and here our soldiers uh, who answer the call of duty are being made to, to suffer, uh, and they, they need to be made whole. And uh, I, I hope that we can get this done in very short order, three weeks from now. Uh, I'm, I'm certainly going to pursue this until.